So, traveling along the lake here, I'm on my way to River Grove, and I see this turtle! Look at him! Hi, buddy! <laughs> He's right there, if you guys can see him. I saw it, that was very interesting, very cool. I've never seen... Okay, let me phrase that. I have seen turtles over here, but they're always in the water, so it's really cool that a turtle decided to come out of the water for right now. That's really cool. You know, considering it is Memorial Day weekend, I would consider more people to be at River Grove, but River Grove is honestly dead. And I'm thinking it's honestly because of the rain. Um, where I'm standing to, right, right next to me is actually, sorry guys, this sun is moving. Um, where I'm standing to right next to me used to be up in water, honestly. I was down here like, I would say it's like two weeks ago or so, and this dock next to me, I'll show you guys. This dock next to me was completely underwater, right here. All of this was just completely underwater. Couldn't even walk on it. And there's like a keep out sign right there. Just, it's strange, because I would just consider more people to be at River Grove, and River Grove for, on a on Memorial Day weekend at, what, six o'clock in the afternoon is pretty dead. And on a summer day like today, it's beautiful outside, oh my gosh. On a summer day to like today, it's quite surprising, honestly. So it seems like the water levels have gone down significantly since I've since I was last here, which was two weeks ago. Um, so yeah, I'm very, it's very interesting, I will say. I will say parts of the dock are, I guess from the rain are a bit broken. Um, like this part, uh, I don't know if that was like that before. I don't think it was like that before. There was like a missing wood plank. So they definitely have to uh, fix that. It's just very interesting because River Grove is practically dead for a for a Saturday Memorial Day weekend on a on at six o'clock on what is a really beautiful evening right now. Um, there is some people over there at the beach over there, but I mean other than that, River Grove is pretty dead. So it's probably because of the rain. Uh, I would assume the soccer fields by now are pretty dry. I'm gonna go over there in a second to test out if they're dry. But uh, but yeah, here let me show you guys with the drone. Uh, so I can describe it a bit better. Uh, so yeah, so Houston is uh, often referred to as the Bayou City, and I think I've mentioned this on the vlog before, but Houston, if you guys don't know, is very, very, very prone to flooding. Um, we've seen it very, very often in the past. We just saw it a couple weeks ago, but we've seen it with Hurricane Harvey. We've seen it with a bunch of other tropical storms and hurricanes. I, you know, I live on the Gulf Coast, so I, it is a bit scary, honestly, because um, back when I lived on the East Coast, Delaware, Virginia, respectively, I didn't really have to worry about it, but like, you know, hurricane season is here, and I do have to worry about it. Um, it is something that I do have to keep my eye out. I'm not gonna lose sleep over it, um, because, um, you know, it's not something to lose sleep over, but it's definitely something to be alert of and be ready for. Uh, it's always important to have a like first aid kit, hurricane preparedness kit. Those are always very valuable. You can find them at your local hardware stores and things like that. Always get one of those uh, to prepare for hurricane season because you never know when things are gonna go bad. I also, I'm gonna do some narration over this, so just bear with me guys for a second. But as you can see with the drone footage that I'm showing you guys right now on screen, that dock that I'm flying over laterally was completely underwater like two weeks ago. Couldn't even step on it. The, the keep out sign is still there for that dock, so people can't, you know, go on that dock. People still can't go on the dock, respectively, even though it's dried out. I'm sure in a couple weeks time or in a couple of days time, they'll remove that keep out sign so people can go on it. But, you know, even then the dock is still, even before it flooded, it was still in pretty bad disrepair and things like that. Also, um, that beach that I'm flying over for you guys right now is was also completely underwater. You couldn't even go on it. Uh, so that's how high you know the water levels were over here. And the soccer fields that I'm showing you guys right now are also were also very slightly flooded. Um, they weren't completely flooded, uh, but they they were the water levels were definitely up in the canal, whatever you want to call it, river area. I guess you say, you could say. Uh, but yeah, so it was very you know interesting. Um, respectively, and um, you know, it's uh, not a good situation for anybody. But flooding here in Houston is something that you know you do have to keep in mind, you do have to worry about a bit. Uh, it's nothing to lose sleep over, like I said. 
Uh, nothing to be too anxious over. I remember when I first moved here, I was like, oh my gosh, hurricanes! Because, like, Hurricane Harvey was the major storm, like, back in 2017, and that flooded here like crazy. Um, I'm lucky enough to live on a second floor, like, apartment building, so hopefully... And it's pretty high up, so... I know if it does flood, it's, you know, it's not going to be too major, but, it, you know, it is still scary nonetheless, you know what I mean? And it is something that you do have to be alert, not anxious over. Uh, again, don't lose sleep over it, but something that you do have to be uh, aware of moving here. But should it be a reason for you not to move to Texas or Houston or Galveston or wherever you want to move to along the Gulf Coast? Gulf Coast? No, absolutely not. The weather here is awesome. Uh, it's a beautiful evening, you know. And I'm surprised more people aren't at River Grove right now. But it is a beautiful evening right now to get out, uh, ride your bike, go swimming. So yeah, it should. I don't think hurricanes or tropical storms should be necessarily a deterrent for moving to a place. I think it's definitely something you should be aware of, but not uh, losing sleep over. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so yeah. So thank you guys for tuning in to Bond explains hurricanes. Bond the weatherman. Bond explains. Uh, what it's like to live in Houston. It's definitely uh, something, you know, you do have to be a bit aware of, a bit alert of, but not something you should necessarily lose your sleep over, like I said. Um, so yeah, uh, but I had a pretty okay day today. Nevertheless, I did go to the eyeglass store because I've been meaning, I've been meaning to get some sunglasses, uh, some prescription sunglasses, because I don't have any. The last pair of Ray-Bans that I had, I completely lost them. I mean, it, they wouldn't be good now because the prescription is out of date. The prescription is completely out of date. Also, another thing I need to order is some more Joby Gorilla Pods. I'm currently holding my camera with a Gorilla Pod, but the issue is the legs for the front two are broken. Uh, they're completely, they completely uh, broke off the other day. So I'm like, ah. So I gotta get, I gotta get some new Joby Gorilla Pods uh, in the mail. I'll probably order them from Amazon because they come in like a pack of like four. Uh, but yeah, so definitely gotta order some more of those. I oh, mean, eyeglasses are so expensive, guys. Oh my god, even with insurance, they're expensive. Holy nuggets! Like, I think I don't know how. I can't remember how much it came out to be, but man, I, glasses and eyeglasses in general are so expensive and. You know, even though it costs them like 30, 40 dollars to make, they'll still charge you, you know, 500 bucks for a pair of like Gucci, you know what I mean? Like, and the funny thing is they're not even made by Gucci. They're made by, the, I was actually watching a 60 Minutes thing today and I'll, I think I'll link it in the description for you guys. But um, I was actually watching a 60 Minutes interview with Leslie Stahls that they did a couple years ago on it. And the reason why they're so expensive is because the freaking, uh, I forget the company name. I think it's called Vixlara or something like that. They took over all these sunglasses company companies like Ray-Ban, uh, Gucci, uh, Fossil, you know, all these big brand names and unfortunately um, made it into a sort of profit game and they unfortunately freaking upped the prices on all of them and it was just a major, major thing a couple years ago. And like I said, they'll charge you $200 for some pair of Ray-Bans and they'll, they'll, but I will say Ray-Bans are pretty nice. They do hold up pretty well. You know, they're not, they're not cheap Walmart, Wal or the Walgreens CVS sunglasses. Like they're, they're nice sunglasses and glasses in general. Um, like for example, I wear like my regular eyeglasses are Columbia. Like that's what I wear. Um, but it's like, you know, they're not, they're not, they're not made out of plastic, like they're, they're nice, but I hate that they charge you so much, like it's, oh, it's ridiculous, <laughs> but yeah, that's my whole rant about sunglasses and glasses in general. So I just got over to the soccer fields, and I, I think I know the reason why a lot of people aren't at River Grove. It's because of this exact reason. The soccer fields make up at least half of River Grove. The other half is over there to my left, which is like a couple playgrounds, that like pier dock area where you can walk around the river over there, and that pier over there, and that beach. That's like the other half of River Grove. But all over here is, here I'll show you guys. All over here is still wet, pretty covered. This over here is where it was flooded actually. Um, I'm not gonna go in it just because I don't really want to but as you can see there's still water all over there um, And it's very very interesting. Um, so I guess 
that explains why a lot of people aren't at River Grove. It's because the soccer fields make up half of River Grove. So now I know the reason why a lot of people aren't at River Grove today and probably won't be for at least a couple more weeks is because the soccer fields are still pretty wet. I was walking over there a bit, still pretty wet. I mean, so it's very interesting. Um, so yeah, it's just uh, very interesting. Um, but yeah, I, I was over here a couple weeks ago and that was the area that was flooded uh, a bit over there. And it was just, it was crazy because I've never seen it like that. I have seen some drone footage of Harvey actually, of how it flooded River Grove and man, it was bad. It was worse than what I saw a couple weeks ago. Like way worse, like the, that parking lot over there, completely uninhabitable, completely flooded, underwater. There was only like certain portions of River Grove that you could go into safely. And it was just very, very, very bad. Uh, but yeah, so definitely something to be aware of if you live in Texas. <laughs> Okay guys, I think I'm gonna start to wrap it up, but before I do say my final goodbyes, I'm gonna head over to the horse stables real quick and end it up from there, because I haven't seen the horses in a while and I really wanna go see them. So I think, um, I think yeah, I think I'm gonna go over to the horse stables and go say hello to the horses and uh, I'll end the vlog out from there. So, uh, so yeah, uh, so I think I'm gonna head over there. Um, but I appreciate you guys watching, I really appreciate it. Uh, my summer is going okay so far, uh, as well as to be expected. I'm, oh man, the struggles are real, guys. I'm trying to find a summer job right now, and it is so hard to find a summer job. It's like nobody will hire a teen 16 years old uh, that has a minimum experience or no experience at all. So the struggle is real to find a job, uh, it really is. But I'm trying my best. I'm applying to like many places every day. And I uh, still haven't gotten a call back from like hardly any of them, which is crazy. Uh, so yeah, because I know people have to be desperate since, you know, the pandemic has raged the uh, worker employment rates and things like that. But uh, but yeah, so struggles to go find a job. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to head over to the horse stables and I'll end it out from there. So, uh, so yeah, so I'll see you guys there. Yeah. okay since the storm um but yeah guys i think it's gonna do it for me i hope everybody's doing okay i really do uh i know it's been an interesting wacky year and i can't wait to get back to normal this horse wants to hear some of the action uh but yeah he, he, he's interested he wants my camera i don't think this is this wouldn't go down so well buddy as a as food we made it through it you know what i mean um i i am going on a cruise uh, with my friend brandon we actually rescheduled on a different cruise line royal caribbean which i've never been on um i've been on carnival and i've been on disney but i've never been on royal caribbean so we scheduled on uh, one of their biggest ships. I think it was the Lore of the Seas. We rescheduled. So I can't wait to tell Brandon tonight um, as a surprise. Because uh, he, he knows we're going on a cruise. He just doesn't know if we're going yet. But I can finally say for sure that we're going. Um, so yeah, but super excited to do that. Uh, but yeah, so hope everybody's doing okay. I know I'm just rambling here for a second, but hope everybody's doing okay. I really do. Um, and as I always say, wherever you guys are, whatever time you guys are watching, so I hope you're doing well. And uh, if you're ever going through a rough rock situation, guys, remember to always stay strong and hang in there. And I think you're awesome. See you guys.